how's it going? All you lovely people at Shut Door, Door Shutter, coming back to you with a brand new episode of All the Mods 9. Today is episode 26, and we are getting into automating mechanism just a little bit more. Uh, using AE2, of course, auto crafting, all that shenanigans. Um, so, one of the things I want to do here is I want to quickly get the Elite Enriching Factory um, up and going. That should allow for us to get a little bit further into mechanism and also just kind of not having to worry about automating or manually crafting uh, certain ingredients. Because right now I want to get another set for the um, or processing system we have, but I can't do that because I don't have everything I need. And of course, manually crafting this is a pain in the rear. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a elite enriching factory set down here and actually i think i can set it that way and we are going to do let's see just a pattern provider i think underneath this if i'm not mistaken mechanism is the only one that can't auto pull out of chests so we're going to do input bottom and then output front uh we can do auto eject on that'll be fine so we're going to have to kind of do this system like we have our mechanical squeezer. We're not really worried about sides in this case, for this machine specifically. Um, we'll have to worry about sides later on, but for right now, we're not too worried about that. So let's get this pattern provider placed down. And we're going to get laser I.O. So laser nodes. Uh, let me get some of this other stuff tossed out of my inventory real fast. There we go. Clean that up just a, just a smidgen. Um, so item cards, we're going to need several of these. Insert, extract, and then extract again. No, just, we only need two, I think. Right? Because we're just pushing it out of the front. So we shouldn't need too many of these. Uh, where did this pipe upgrade come from? Is that supposed to be right here? Uh, I don't even know. Okay, so we'll do that. And then on this laser node, on the down direction... We're going to extract, and then on the up direction, we're going to insert, and then I think we could totally just put a pipe there, but since I've already got laser I.O. there, I'm going to put laser I.O. there again. All right, so we'll want to go and craft a pattern, which we're going to craft several patterns for the enriching factory, um, which is the um, enriched materials. So, for example, enriched diamond. Uh, enriched uh, obsidian and we'll have to get into auto crafting the actual obsidian dust as well uh, enrichment chamber that and then there should be coal or carbon in this case not coal but we will be using coal okay I think that's it for now we could look at all these other ones but this is actually just a minute uh, just an infuser recipe anyway. So we've got the only one to worry about maybe is 10. And I'm not really too concerned about that one. Okay, so let's get this placed in here. Okay. And let's go for um, 10 carbon. Perfect. So it looks like the only issue is the fact that this is actually not sped up enough. Uh, which is probably due to uh, not having any card overclockers inside of the node, the laser node. So let's get that going. Actually, let's just straight up replace this. Let's do a little less overkill. Okay. Boop, boop. There we go. And let's do that one more time. We'll do 25 this time. There we go. Okay, so that was the issue. It just wasn't pushing enough in there. But that's okay. So, that is the Elite Enriching Factory completed. Of course, we'll want to upgrade that as time goes on. But uh, I also want to make sure we're not using all of our channels. So, we've only got six here. I think previously I had a, basically an interface on each one of these, which is considered a channel on each uh, each one. So that was an issue. So we've just got pipes solving that issue here. And then, of course, pattern providers count 
uh, which is our biggest uh, use right now is pattern providers. So we also want to look at getting our infusing factories done, right? That is our next bit. Hence why we set up the enriching factory in the first place. Okay, so the infusing factory, which I think I want to place them on this side here. So we're going to take this out and we're going to put the advanced infusing factory and we're going to have to take that cable down, which is fine. So we've got um, refined obsidian in here. So let's actually just get some infuse or some alloy. Okay, so we only have this, hmm, which would require diamond to clear it, by the way. And I don't think I have any diamond in any of these, not even in this uh, generic one. Uh, let's see, diamond. We could just grab one. And what basically is going to happen here is we're going to have one for refined obsidian, one for redstone, and then one for, um, of course, diamond. Just And then, of course, carbon, but I'm not really too worried about the carbon one. Carbon's for steel. We'll automate that here in a bit as well. Um, probably just using two actual advanced infusing factories because it goes from one to the other and so on and so forth. So we'll look at that as well. Okay, let's get those pushed down. Perfect. Just so that way we can clear out these so we have a fresh start. And then here, um, I'll just throw a whole bunch of iron. Or how many control circuits do we have? Basic control circuits, 55. Uh, let's grab some osmium then. I don't think that'll completely clear it, but for now it'll, it'll uh, get it lower. Okay, so we are going to need to do laser I.O. on this one specifically. So let's do clear all sides. So we're going to say input on the bottom, output on the... No, not output on the top. Um, extra on the top. And then output on the front. So we're going to copy this, basically. Because that will allow for us to do some shenanigans. So let's get... Where's my shovel? Basically, just going to clear this real quick. Okay, so we're going to do laser node. And then we're going to do barrel. Okay, so this is going to be down extract up insert and then on this one we're probably going to need some filters i always like doing filters just in case uh laser io so we've got some basic filters in here and then we're just going to grab a couple item cards just for now so on the down direction we've got extract channel one and we're going to say we want to deny um for this one it is the diamond, right? The enriched diamond. So we're going to say down this. Deny enriched diamond. And then here extract channel one. And we're just going to do this just because I want to make sure we're, we're explicit in this instruction. Okay. And then we're going to speed these up just a little wee bit. Not too much. And then on the... Um, up direction, we're going to have this, but it's going to be on the up direction. So it's technically pushing into the top there. Okay. So what we'll want to try is we'll take an enriched diamond, throw that in there, and it should end up in there. And then if I take a, an alloy, actually I have some on me. So if I take one in here, it should just push it into the bottom. And then we're going to have to make sure we are extracting on the out front. And then we're just going to do this. Because, of course, we're going to extract on all of these. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. And then we'll do pipes here for power. Uh, do, do, do. 
make sure we provide enough power. Okay. So that should be automated uh, with the barrel. Let's get the pattern provider put on here. So we just want a normal pattern provider. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be like bridged technically. There's going to be this, this, and that should be good. I don't know why I actually haven't centered this interface if we're using it like this. Uh, let's just grab a cable. Okay, and then we'll just do directly there in the center. Okay, so uh, you guys can see how this is going to kind of go, right? It's not going to be too complicated in the way for mechanism. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more involved. Uh, but laser IO, of course, helps us. Let's go get some patterns set up here. So that was the diamond one, which is um, the kind of elite alloy, this blue one here. But I want to look at enriched diamond uh, use, and then we're going to do use on that. So we've got two recipes here, which is the, of course, reinforced alloy for the elite tier and then also the refined obsidian dust. So we're going to do this. We're going to clear that um, because we actually want to do this. But I also need to make sure of one thing here. So this does two to one. Okay. So this does eight pieces. We need to make sure that we account for that. So we only need three more pieces to then say we will be getting... Um, three p or four pieces out of this, right? So four total pieces. Okay, so that's our recipe, and then of course we want to do this, which is I got to make sure here. So this is a one to one. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're going to do. Um, four, no, eight, 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 eight. Okay, and then here, of course, eight. Will this cause some issues of, like, getting access? Yes, but then again, we're not wasting as much resources. Okay, so obsidian dust, uh, we can do that in a squeezer. I don't think that's the official recipe. Hold on. There's got to be a different obsidian dust recipe. So there's Greg Tech, which is actually looks like what we're actually supposed to be using. Okay, so obsidian. So let's get that changed out. Uh, let's just grab some obsidian. Um, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to the enrichment chamber, which we just set up. Toss it in there. And of course, we'll make this an actual um, recipe for the enrichment chamber as well, because that's not a bad idea. So we're going to say obsidian dust. And then we're going to say eight of this. Turns that. I think we actually probably should do that. Just change the actual component that's inside of it. And then we're going to say recipe here. We're going to go to the enrichment chamber and just do that. And then we can actually find the enrichment chamber here. Okay. And then I won't be able to locate the actual um, metallurgic infuser through there. So we're going to have to go over here. So that should just be plop those in there. And then whenever we want uh, reinforced alloy, we should be able to say four, get started. And that should slowly start. And it looks like we've actually got a backlog. So did I do something wrong? Um, I don't think I did anything wrong on that recipe, right? It's eight in total. Eight infused alloy. Hold on. Let's just uh, clear this out real quick. 
Okay, one more time. That's okay, so maybe I threw some in there when I wasn't supposed to. Okay, so let me get the rest of this automated, um, which is, of course, just going to be copying this, getting the recipes. Um, I think, for example, redstone. Um, redstone. Uh, enriched redstone. So this is going to probably be two recipes, I think. So osmium is one to two. Um, the iron is one to one. So that's not too terrible. So just two recipes for now. We'll ignore rose quartz. Maybe in the future we'll throw it in there. Um, and then the enriched obsidian is just one recipe. Okay. And that one is actually how much? So that one is a one to four conversion. So you would only get two out of one enriched obsidian, which is fine. Okay, I will be back here in a second whenever these are done and automated. All right, so real quick here, I have set up the steel production uh, partially. So steel, um, what is our current steel looking like? So we've got Damascus, that's not it. So it's this right here, all the ores, okay? So we're going to go to, um, I think just a furnace. Yeah, because we want steel dust. Um, actually, hold on. I think we technically want this recipe. And then we want to go down a level. And we're going to look for our metallurgic infuser, which is going to be this. So this is a one-to-one -one conversion. So we're going to say, um, let's grab some carbon here. So this is going to be eight pieces, and that's going to result in eight pieces of steel, okay? And then recipe for enriched. So this is a one-to-one, -one. okay? So we're going to do that again, eight to eight, and then done. And this should be our steel recipe, by the way. It's not going to be that complicated. I've already set everything up. It's the exact same as these. It's just two instead of one. Um, so we're going to say on the first one, we're going to need enriched iron. On the second, we're going to need the enriched carbon, um, enriched iron recipe. And then that should make steel dust. And I put that in the wrong thing. Okay. So enriched iron, steel dust. And then over here on our furnace, which we actually need to upgrade this furnace, by the way, still have not done that. I will get around to that. Honestly, I probably could just yoink, and then yoink, and then do that, do that, and then just say auto input, auto output, shift click into the center, output front, input bottom, and that should actually make that better. Okay, um, we can throw this furnace away for now. We'll have to upgrade it and throw it back behind us, but that should be steel, right? So if we do craftable, and I want 64 steel, we should see these fire, uh, which actually I have not thrown upgrades in here. Um, speed upgrades and energy upgrades. Okay. I think I threw them all in the other ones, so that's good. I've auto-crafted upgrades, by the way. I finally made a recipe for it, so... We're, we're feeling like we're actually progressing through the pack a little bit more here. Okay, so now we're making the steel dust. That's going to get pulled out slowly. Uh, we probably need to get a pipe upgrade on these. Do, do, do. And then over here, we should be smelting. We'll make sure auto split is turned on. And then we need to make sure that we activate that again. Perfect. Okay, so that is steel automated. Of course, it's not like one simple line. We could totally do like one factory line, um, but I just have I just didn't do it. I didn't feel like doing it. Um, can we look at getting iron furnace upgrades, like the speed upgrades? Can we consider this? No, we still cannot consider that. Okay, I was just curious. I probably need to figure out a source of power for these. Specifically, just the furnaces. Because <laughs> they are backlogging very, very badly. Oh, well. 
we'll get over it. But we've got the ore system figured out. We've got mechanism auto crafting sorted this episode. Um, it'll help us progress. That's the biggest thing. Because, of course, since we now know, we're going to have to look at, um, at antimatter and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that means we're going to start looking at that kind of stuff. We're going to start progressing through mechanism. Um, I think we're basically at the point of kind of midpoint in mechanism. We may want to look at maybe making some gas burning generators or something. Um, maybe make a system of those. That would not be a bad option. That could be a potential power saver. I do want to look at cleaning this up, um, soon because this is just a monstrosity of a system. I think I will look at that off camera. For the most part, I need to just get um, the cobble works. What is it called? Stone works from Industrial Foregoing. Uh, this would simplify a lot of things. I also could look at the um, something that better than a pulverizer because I think we have options, don't we? I thought we had crusher recipes for this. Yeah, we could do crusher recipes, and that'll turn it to gravel. And it looks like we're actually full on sand, so this thing's going to backlog sooner or later. But that's okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.